Facts that could save your life. Part seven. If you have to perform CPR, follow the beat of staying alive by the Bee Gees. If someone has hypothermia, you need to heat them up gradually. Putting them next to a fire could kill them. For the same reason, do not put frostbitten fingers or toes in hot water. Your blood can't adapt as fast to the sudden change. If lost in the woods, always follow water downstream. You can use a crayon as a candle. It will burn up to 14 minutes. If you witness an accident, never take off the person's helmet. You can make a spine or brain injury worse. If you have a wound or bug bite and there's this kind of weird red line, that's blood poisoning. If a service dog ever approaches you without its owner, follow them and do it quickly because you could be saving someone else's life. If you ever feel like someone is following your car, take four right turns and if they're still behind you, they're following you. You can also get off and on the freeway, but if this happens, just stay calm, call the police and drive to a police station. Don't go home. If you are ever being chased by a polar bear, get naked and drop all your clothes on the ground as you're running away. Polar bears have short attention spans and will inspect your clothes before chasing you again. If you ever come face to face with a mountain lion, don't turn around, just walk backwards. They will be waiting for you to turn around before they attack you. If there is an earthquake, do not go up or down stairs because they fall. Hornets are angered by the color white. You might think that taking off your white shirt would help, but remember, part of your eyes are white and they're going to be angry anyways. If you have an iPhone, press the lock button five times to call emergency emergency services. It's handy when you have your phone in your pocket and you don't want to show someone that you're calling. Mud all over will keep you from being eaten alive by insects. If somebody's ever trying to take you or points a gun at you to get you away in a public place, you just have to start screaming and fighting. Even if you're shot, medical attention can get to you relatively fast, but if they do end up taking you to a private place, your chances of being rescued are much lower. Never mix bleach and ammonia because the result is a poisonous gas that will kill you. If someone grabs you by the arm, don't just pull away. Twist your arm instead. Your arm goes goes in nearly all directions, but their wrist won't. If you ever for some reason ingest windshield wiper fluid, drink a lot of vodka so that it prevents your kidneys from shredding and gives you time to go to the hospital. If your hair suddenly stands up like this, duck and cover. You're about to be struck by lightning. Too much cold snow in your stomach can cause you to die of hypothermia. If snow is all you have, melt the ice, then drink it. If you've gone two and a half days without water and your only choice is either drink water that can't be sanitized or not drink water, drink the water. You're gonna die no matter what if you don't drink it. Most diseases you get from drinking bad water takes a couple days to set in so you have some more time to get help. If you ever fall off the edge of a subway platform and onto the tracks, there is a crawl space underneath for situations like this. Need to break into a car window? Aim for the edges and corners because it's weaker than the center. If you are ever trapped in a car, the headrest pole is made of material that is designed to smash car windows. If you are ever trapped in a building on fire, get to the ground because the most breathable air will always be at the lowest point. Garage door springs can kill you if you try to take them off the wrong way, so best recommended to leave it to professionals. You need to chew an aspirin if you take one thinking that you're having a heart attack. Keep a survival candle in your car when you're in cold areas because the heat from one candle can keep you from freezing to death and these candles can last up to 36 hours. Condoms can actually be a quick way to store liquids and they can hold up to a gallon of water. And plus, they're waterproof so you can store phones or matches, pretty much anything that shouldn't get wet safely. If you are choking or having a heart attack, get out of your car. You can't signal anyone if you're unconscious in your car, but if you're draped over the hood, that'll be sending a distress signal. If your car is stuck on a train track, run in the direction of the train itself. If you run in the same direction that the train is traveling, it is more likely you're going to get hit by the debris of your former car. Don't walk downstairs with your hands in your pockets. When crying for help, try and call some specific people like, hey you in the red shirt, help, I'm being mugged. A lot of people will ignore a help call, so if you call someone specifically, they'll look at you. If people are really ignoring your help call, you can just try and yell fire because people are gonna come running to see stuff burning. Use this helpful rhyme to remember what to do in the event of facing each kind of bear. If it's brown, lay down. If it's black, fight back. If it's white, good night. Use your jeans as a life preserver in water just by tying the legs and filling them with air. Always keep a card in your wallet of your blood type and your allergies in case of an emergency. Flammable and inflammable mean the same thing. Cyanide smells like bitter almonds. Get away from anywhere that smells like it. If your belly hurts on the lower right side of your stomach, push down on the lower left side. If that produces more pain, it's likely appendicitis. If you think your home is haunted and you've been seeing or hearing a presence, get a carbon monoxide detector. There's a chance you could be hallucinating and this could be lethal. When escaping a fire, touch a closed door with the back of your hand before you open it. If it is extremely hot, you have only burned the back of your hand and you can still grip things while you're escaping. 30 years ago, you had about 17 minutes to escape a house fire. Today, you only have about three minutes because newer homes and furniture burn faster. Follow for more.